Yeah, Dave LaPointe's sitting here going, when's Danny going to get to me? LaPointe, 9-3 and three with that 82 team, 8th in the Rookie of the Year voting. So my question is, how much fun are you having with these guys in this celebration? Well, we, we were out there on the line after we got introduced, and I'm standing next to Steve Muir, and I go, you know, isn't it funny? It seems like yesterday that you remember everything that went on, your teammates. And I've always said this team from 82, they could park the bus outside. We all go get back in the same seat and have the same conversation we had before. So it's just a good bunch of people that liked each other. That 82 team built on defense, speed, and pitching. You went 9-3 and three again as a rookie. What stands out to you about that season? Um, that, you know, through Bob Forrest and Jim Cott and Bruce Suter, they, G Tennis, they, they, they let you know it was a job now. If you're going to be here a while, be a professional, you better take care of it and learn how to deal with it. It wasn't the thrill, you know, halfway through about being a big leaguer. We're trying to win a, you know, championship here and you better jump on board. Now we have a little time here, a little bit. Tell me a Whitey story. Oh, my God. I just inside, I, I said, you know, you're the smartest and the dumbest manager I ever had. He goes, Snacks, what the hell are you talking about? I said, well, you signed me twice and you released me twice. <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad. So I think you were 12 years in the big leagues. When you look at a guy like Wayno, who's out there still doing it at a very high level, what are your thoughts on Wayno? My thoughts are he's, you know, he's, he's done everything. Closer, you know, set up. He's a starter. He's... He's the leader of the pack, you know, with his team. And I hope somehow he stays in the game and keeps lending his knowledge because a lot of those guys are gone now, you know. And I'm an old old schooler, and we always talk, you know, you know, we used to drive bad cars too. We got new ones. But he's such a, a, a value to the younger players that you hope he sticks along and keeps lending his knowledge. Last thing about the organization for putting these weekends on, these celebrations. They treat you guys pretty good. I know you guys look forward to getting together and coming back. We, we're treated like kings. We're like rock stars. But we were talking about it last night. The Cardinals have the best organization in baseball, especially the best alumni organization in baseball, bringing us all back, keeping us involved, wearing a uniform. But if we didn't have the fan base that paid attention to what we used to do, that wouldn't work either. So it's a, it's a great marriage of the greatest fans along with the greatest organization. Thanks for the time. Go have some fun. Thanks, Jim. All right, Danny.